Taha, which is the Tanzania Horticultural Association, is uh, basically an apex private sector, member-based, business-oriented association uh, that has the mandate of promoting and developing horticultural industry in Tanzania. So our key interest is really to see that the industry in Tanzania is given the right support and attention by its partners so that it grows, prosper, to the benefit of the farmers at different levels and the various other actors in the value chain, including the government of Tanzania. So it is now the role of the private sector organization like Taha to be able to mobilize the voice of the private sector and be able to articulate issues that are need to be tabled and be able to drive the, that positive change. So in 2007, we approached USAID with this idea of bringing in a freighter at the Kilimanjaro International Airport. Why? Because of the limited uh, air freight capacity at the Kilimanjaro. Our exporters used to track their produce to Dar es Salaam or to Nairobi. So what we did was, of course, after getting financial and technical support from USAID, we were able to engage all the necessary partners to address some of the policy issues that were actually creating or making Kilimanjaro and other airports uncompetitive in Tanzania, like uh, addressing the issues of lending fees, which were actually very high, addressing the issues of uh, parking fees, jet fuel, which were also very high as compared to other airports in the region. So after being able to really bring partners together as an industry organization, and address, I mean, lower the rates, we were able to bring in a freighter at Kilimanjaro. It was a 747 Boeing uh, coming to Kia, uplifting our produce to Ostend in Europe. There are quite a, a number of, of, of issues that needs to be fixed for us to be able to realize the food and nutrition security in Africa as far as farmers, especially smallholder farmers, is concerned. And the limited resources is one of the biggest challenges that face uh, the private sector organization. We are trying to reach the world with the limited resources we have. But also there are issues of infrastructure. If we really want to address food security in Africa, that is one of the, the key issues that needs to be looked, up, uh, looked at. The market structures, the market systems, and the market institutions needs to be really uh, developed to make sure that the production is connected to the market. Challenges that affect agriculture in Africa are the same. So when, when, when you sit down with Kenyans, Ugandans, Ethiopia, and you try to talk about issues affecting horticulture or cotton, these are the same issues, so, and they're cross-cutting issues. So I think it is now high time for the African countries to sit down together I mean, develop mechanisms and modalities to address some of those key challenges, cross-cutting issues affecting agriculture. Unless we agree to come together as Africa and look on the issues as Africa, then these challenges will continue to be there. There's no need for doing things, things in piecemeal. It's high time that, yes, we tackle the giants as one, as a region, as a continent.